A while ago, I have seen a video interview of Mr. Bernard Arnault, um, chairman of LVMH Group, and he was talking with a Bloomberg journalist who asked him why in the end of 2018 business was slowing down in China for most luxury brands and not exactly for LVMH brands, which in fact have seen an increase in sales uh, in that period. And Mr. Arnault replied that he believed that the reason for that success was the desirability of LVMH brands. Now that got me thinking, how can one develop desirability? How can a brand develop that equity, that value? This was excellent food for thought during a couple of weeks. Eventually I came up with a uh, methodology of, in my opinion, I believe a brand should do in order to develop desirability. Now, in my opinion, a brand should uh, invest in creativity, design and brand equity. A brand should invest in creativity in order to foster innovation. A brand needs to invest in differentiation from the competition, needs to invest in being unique. Why? In order to wow the customer in order to surprise brand lovers and customers. This is why in luxury brands um, the uh, position of creative director is so powerful and so important. Exactly because the creative director uh, has to build all this universe of creativity, innovation, differentiation, which is key for desirability. A brand needs to invest in design in order to create its own aesthetical universe. And aesthetics will eventually uh, allow you to reach beauty. And uh, beauty is, has magnetism, beauty draws you in, beauty attracts uh, people and beauty sells. Finally, uh, brand equity is um, of utmost importance in order to develop desirability. And in my opinion, brand equi equity um, is, can be developed with exclusivity, symbology, and consistent marketing communication. Exclusivity will allow you to build the dream around the universe of the brand. Uh, it, it will allow you to connect with the ego of the customer and the brand fan. It will uh, eventually will make people feel, I'm special. Symbology is made of icons and strong connections with art and culture. I remember when I studied luxury brand management at IE Business School in Madrid, I remember we had classes of semiotics. And semiotics is the science of uh, symbology. Symbology is really important to add value, to create value in a brand. You will develop it with icons, symbols, uh, customers and fans can relate to, like the snake for Bulgari. The Bulgari snake is an icon, like the number five for Chanel or the interlaced C's of Chanel are symbols, are icons, and strong connections with arts and culture will also allow brands to acquire increased value. The intangible value of art and culture will be absorbed by the brand. And finally, consistent um, marketing communication you have to use digital, of course, not exactly to sell, but to communicate the dream of the brand and the aesthetical universe of the brand. And then you will need PR and ER. These are two professionals which are key in communicating a luxury brand. The public relations is someone uh, talented and, and, um, and trained to deal with the communication with the media and the external relations is a professional uh, which normally belongs to uh, the, uh, the universe of the uh, target audience and will communicate with that target, target audience 
in an, on a one-to-one -one basis. Finally, you will also need events to create experiences. Events to involve the brand lovers and uh, customers in the atmosphere of the brand in order to allow the target audience to fill the universe of the brand and the lifestyle of the brand. Because um, in the end, luxury brands do not sell objects nor services. They sell lifestyles and customers need to feel the lifestyle, the exclusive, unique lifestyle of the brand. And they will buy products and services in order to belong to that lifestyle. Creativity, design and brand equity. This is how I see desirability being built in a luxury brand. I guess that's it.